What's going on everybody and welcome back to my latest uh, NRL tipping video. Uh, so this is round 8 of the 2017 NRL season. Uh, so I'm not sure if you follow my tips last week or not, but finally we got our very first, I think, perfect round, 8 out of 8 last week. Um, so kicking off the footy this week, we have the uh, Raiders versus Manly. Uh, Raiders are at home, quite simply, they're the better team. They're playing better footy, so yeah, I'm definitely tipping the Raiders here. Uh, second Friday night game, we have the Rabbits versus the Broncos. Uh, Rabbits are at home. Um, tipping the Broncos here. Um, Rabbits, obviously, without um, Adam Reynolds, so the Broncos should easily be walking all over them. Now, this is where things start to get a bit tricky, in my opinion. Uh, so, kicking off uh, Super Saturday, we have the Eels versus the Panthers. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to tip the Panthers here. I do think they will bounce back this week. Um, don't have much confidence saying that, but I just think, you know, there's something in the air, and I, I think the Panthers will be, uh, yeah, singing the victory song this week. Second game for Super Saturday, we have the um, Cowboys versus the Knights. Um, tipping the Cowboys here, with, uh, to be honest, not much confidence. Um, without JT, I know the Cowboys' record is uh, pretty uh, pretty abysmal. Um, yeah, but the Knights, they're playing alright, but they're not, they're not playing great. I don't think they have enough to win, especially up there up in Townsville. Third game for Super Saturday, uh, we have the Sharks versus the Titans. I am tipping the Sharks here, but um, one thing about the Titans, they're one of those... Those tough teams, those gritty teams that if you give them a sniff, they'll, they'll take it. I think you have to play 80 minutes to beat the Titans, and especially if Jared Hayne comes back and plays to how we know he can, uh, the Titans are definitely in with a chance. Uh, but yeah, I am going to tip the Sharks as the uh, safer option. So just the one game on the uh, Sunday this week, we have the uh, Tigers versus the Bulldogs. Um, tipping the Bulldogs here, um, playing better footy. The Titans, uh, sorry, the Tigers are in... You know, a bit of trouble on the field, and I suppose you could say off the field with all the um, contract drama surrounding them. But um, yeah, tipping the Bulldogs here, I think they'll be finding a good bit of form the last couple of weeks, uh, especially Josh Reynolds. So how good is it to have uh, a couple of games on Anzac Day? Um, so first off, we got the uh, Roosters versus the Dragons. Um, personally, I'm still not sold on the Dragons. I do know they're sitting at the top of the table, and I know pre-season I had them dead last. But uh, I think this is the, the first true test for the Dragons. I am going to tip the Roosters here. I think they have the better team. And now that the uh, Dragons are top of the table, the Roosters definitely won't be um, taking them lightly. So the final game of the round, we have the Storm versus the Mighty Vodafone Warriors. Um, I'm tipping the Storm here. However, I think the Warriors have the second best winning record against Melbourne in Melbourne. I'm pretty sure the Raiders have the uh, the first uh, sorry the best winning margin against them, but um yeah I'm tipping the Storm here. Don't get me wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope the Warriors win. Um, it depends how they're going to play. If they played like the first week, uh, sorry if they played like the first half they did last week against the Raiders, I think the Warriors will get the job done. But if they play like the uh, the second half, then uh, yeah definitely the Storm. But overall, I'm going to tip the Storm here. Um, should be a nice close game, I think, especially both Anzac Day games and also uh, all three Saturday games. Um, so you guys, let me know how you got on last week, what your tips are for this week. And yeah, as usual, thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week's episode. See ya.